Hey folks, and welcome to another tutorial from phpscripting.com. Last video tutorial, I showed you how to make a website page creation tool where you could create web pages on the fly. We didn't use a database for that one. However, in this tutorial, we'll be using a database and therefore you can save the information to edit it later on. This is how you would want this kind of script so that you can save the information and update it anytime you desire. Hope you enjoy it. So here's the database table we'll be working with. We've got an ID of an integer 11, auto increment, and primary key, title, various characters 100, meta description, and text will be long text, and then the page, various characters 100. So here's our code. We're going to be using the code we used last time. However, we will be upgrading it. Now the first thing we have to do is escape the strings that are put into our database. This is a security measure to make sure no one carries through a squall injection. And we do this with each of our variables that we are actually inserting into the form. In this case it would be title, meta description, and the text. Now we can create our insert query. I'm going to call it iPage, meaning insert page, insert into pages, title, meta desk, text, and page. Then we define our values, which of course are the variables. Again, title, meta desk, text, and page. MySQLI query con, which is our connection, ipage, which is the query, and then we, of course we want to insert an ID. Here's our form. You may have noticed I moved it to the left. I've split the page into two because we're going to now have an edit link to our right. This is the edit link. We're selecting from the pages data, database table. Getting our result, and then we'll loop through our titles and our edit links. Now, of course, it doesn't show up yet because we haven't created one. Created the page. When we create the page, as we're doing now, we've created it. Now we view our page. Now we go into the database, and there is our the information that we've saved into the table. Now before I create the edit page, I'm going to add another column to the database table called status. With this you can control whether your pages are published or unpublished. You can use that to control whether your page will show up to the public or not. It's very ha handy to have. So here we have our editing page. Click on that. It picks up the ID in the browser using the get function. As you can see, we have published. I've already published it. It's very similar to the creation page. However, we only need to ask if the submit name is set because after all the information is going to be there as long as it's in the database. Update page is set and then each of your variables. You're going to need two queries, one update query and then the ID get so that you can select the information from the database and echo it within your form. So we've jumped ahead here a little bit, but if you've been following the recent tutorials at phpscripting.com, you should be able to pick up on this. Just pause the video. I will have code in the article on my site, of course, that you can refer to. This isn't as difficult as it looks. Um, if you know the basic HTML and you can make the CSS form look half decent, the PHP really does come naturally once you learn the terminology and the proper syntax. 
You're going to end up with a lot of errors while trying this. Trial and error. This is literally how you learn PHP. But eventually you'll pick it up. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. And of course, there will be links available. Thanks for watching.